Uh, Rishi Sunak also facing cross-party calls now to rethink the controversial move to rip up, as they say, parts of the post-Brexit deal on Northern Ireland, with warnings that it breaks international law and could risk a trade war with the EU. The government is facing demands for further details on the impact of the draft legislation before it continued its parliamentary passage through the House of Laws, where it's facing opposition. So, what could the future of the protocol be under Rishi Sunak? Let's speak to Northern Irish uh, or Northern, I Northern Ireland, rather, based journalist Amanda Ferguson joining us. Uh, Amanda, no word as yet, even though we've got a lobby briefing going on about the future of this, uh, which is really at the centre of uh, relations um, with, with the EU particularly. Well, we don't know what uh, the new Prime Minister thinks about a lot of issues that are related to Northern Ireland because he hasn't really had to be tested on those in the past. We know that the issues that there are surrounding the protocol uh, remain a barrier to power sharing being restored uh, in Northern Ireland. And indeed, the reappointed uh, Secretary of State, Chris Heaton-Harris, has indicated that he'll call a fresh election if uh, Stormont isn't restored by one minute past midnight uh, on Friday. So we're in a period of turbulence at the moment and uh, unfortunately we're not uh, sort of high up on the, the list of priorities uh, for the Prime Minister that he's indicated so far. We know that Boris Johnson had uh, talked about getting Brexit done and how he had got Brexit done, whereas uh, some unionists in particular in Northern Ireland uh, don't feel that uh, the UK government has got Brexit done because of the, the different uh, unique uh, trading arrangements that applied in Northern Ireland. Explain those trading uh, arrangements, arrangements and why the protocol causes uh, difficulty for some unionists in, in particular. Well, obviously, uh, Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom, but it is a unique part of the United Kingdom in that it's on a separate island um, and that it has a land border with the Republic of Ireland that remains an EU member state. So there was always going to have to be some sort of arrangement put in place um, and uh, you know, the, the possibility of a hard land border just uh, wouldn't uh, particularly be countenanced. It was felt that you know any attempt to try and, and sort of police and uh, check uh, along hundreds of miles of border compared to check that would take place at a handful of ports. Uh, they were the, the, the sort of options that were available. So unionists and uh, pol political leaders in particular are of the view that Northern Ireland doesn't have uh, the Brexit uh, that Scotland, England and Wales has and that because trade flows easier across the island of Ireland that it somehow diminishes Northern Ireland's place uh, in the UK. Now, we know that the Good Friday Agreement is very clear about the constitutional position uh, of Northern Ireland, that it remains part of the UK unless... Uh, people would vote uh, for something different. But certainly unionist political leaders view the protocol as something that damages uh, not only they view it as, as Northern Ireland's uh, economic place in the UK, but also its constitutional place. Now, non-unionist political leaders will point to the fact uh, that there's always been special arrangements uh, for Northern Ireland that take uh, into consideration the unique position that we have across these islands and that they would view the protocol as mitigating against the worst impacts of Brexit. But essentially the protocol means that Northern Ireland remains in the EU single market for goods. Now, some, bene some benefits of that are that uh, some businesses benefit from having dual market access, whereas some uh, businesses uh, are not benefiting from that and are having a lot of disturbance. There is widespread uh, agreement that uh, everybody acknowledges that the protocol needs to be finessed and needs made work better. The problem that unionists have and, and the lead unionist party in Northern Ireland has is that it's using uh, not re-entering the devolved government in Northern Ireland as leverage or right. as it sees it in the protocol negotiations.